myself basically for me um, I started off as a young young boy, nine years old, going to church, um, seeing people fall out, getting scared and it was just like I, I can't I can't feel this that everyone else is feeling it. Just fear, 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 fear. And then I also started playing cricket that same year. And then also being told you're not good enough uh, to make the person province team. And on that, there was one night when I just committed my life to the Lord. Amen. And from that night, everything changed dramatically. I mean, I've traveled the kind, I've traveled to India playing for South Africa. I've captained Western Province just a week ago. I, I won a tournament this weekend and also captaining that team and we were unbeaten. And all I could do is just put God first and everything just fell into place the way I wanted it or even beyond my understanding. So if I can encourage everyone, anyone just to put God first and everything else will just fall into place the way you want. Just put God first and everything will align itself and you just keep keep pressing in, keep pushing. See God's face day in, day out. Like um, Matthew 6 verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all will be added unto you. So that's all I'm going to say. And just, just, yeah. It's all since he came here, I saw faith in his life. You know, I prophesy over his life. He phoned me and said, Wow, I'm going to this place. And before they left, he asked me to pray. I said, I won't just pray, but you will win. I phoned him again, phoned me, prayed for him again, and they won again. He said, As long as you put God first, you will always be the end. Out of the obedient come the experience in the very obedient son. Amen. He's a son and God is putting him in there. Why? To uplift his name. They will know he's a captain for Jesus, not for the world. Amen.